Hello, and welcome to some Sea Open at Homestead Miami Speedway. I just finished up doing Gavin's community race at Watkins Glen in the 87 cars. That was a very fun, very intense race. And now we're chilling in Miami, I guess. <laughs> or, uh, you know, as much as you can, going 170 in a truck. So, <laughs> uh, I'm, in, I'm pretty excited for this one. I actually have done this combo already this week, and that's because I hadn't done this combo before ever, I don't think. I had not had any, you know, previous times set, and that was surprising because I felt like I had for sure been here before in the truck, but... Uh, the data said I had not, and I don't remember it, and it certainly felt different from what I might have, uh, you know, it felt like something new, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's all interesting. Um, I'm thinking Highline is going to be the way to go for qualifying. Actually, I think I'm going to do Highline, turn, the turns one and two... <laughs> That's so loose. I have to tape a little bit, so well, that might have been a mistake. I might get a little bit too loose because of it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is high line both laps for the first time, and then I'll try going low line in three and four for lap two and see how that works. Okay, I think lap two might actually even be better. Sounds pretty good. Your water temperature looks quite high. Not sure if that was the way to go or not. It's looking like it might have been. 32.9. Let me pay attention to the road. Ew, that was a very good lap, was it? But that's about as good as my best lap had been, so can't really expect much more than that. I don't know, I just don't feel quite as fast as I could be. That's okay. Um, I think it, there's going to be some tire saving involved here for the actual race. Water temp's getting high, because I had 80-something percent tape. Down to ninth. That's okay. Like I said, I think this is going to be... You know, I'm going to focus on long run here. I think during the race you want to take the low line and get to this seam right here because it can give you lots of good rotation. Excuse me. When you ride that seam, so okay, I'll try to not have the engine blow on me because I do want to do a practice green flag pit stop here and my quote unquote practice race. We actually did need it, and I gained some spots. Watch your speed having a nice green flag pit stop, which is always a lot of fun. Enjoy green flag pit stops a lot. So hopefully we get that again here today. I'll put my tape back before I forget. I'm at 68%. This is the OSR setup. All I changed were the brake bias back a little bit. I think I will be using some brakes, especially as the car gets tighter and uh, up the tape by 2% because I just like pushing the envelope. <laughs> you, usually you can get away with it and uh, yeah, makes the car faster, makes the car rotate more. I like both those things. So. Not so great on qualifying, but that's my own fault. I could have practiced more the hot lapping. I think I just would need to be more aggressive on throttle and really attack the corners. Now, there are a couple names I'm a little concerned about, I'll say. But hopefully we'll do all right. Going to give lots of room. And just take it one lap at a time. How many people are we waiting on? We're waiting on the one. Is he doing a second lap, or is he just making everybody wait for fun? Some of the fast guys like to do that. Not sure, but 
7, 13, we got a couple people we're waiting on. That's the end of the session. Oh, P12. well, we're not waiting much longer, are we? Because we're about to go. <laughs> so we are going to start P12 right in the middle, pretty much. I'll take it. It's where you finish, not where you start. Get session last lap ready. Don't need the dash. Well, I'll keep that up for a little bit. Just because I push the table a, a tiny bit, and uh, if I'm in traffic, it might get a little hot. But you can really get away with it because you know, as you uh, as you go along, I'm going to be saving tires, so I'm going to be off the throttle more, and generally going slower as the run goes on. Those temps go down. So, you might have to keep an eye on it early in the run, but other otherwise should be just fine. Crew chief's ready to tell me details. You can it's actually you kind of have to be careful and uh, not undercut too much cuz you kind of just barely make it. So, you can't undercut too hard or you will not be able to fill the truck with enough fuel. Michael, don't wreck to me in the turn one. Is that that brake pedal or is that that bumper? Either or. We got pretty good strength of field here. 3.6, according to Race Lab. Up on the top left up here. We got lots of A licenses. We got a B 2.5. Right, I'm, I'm going to give play. him extra room just in case. Not bad, Jimmy. How are you, buddy? Hang in there, man. Hang in there, man. I ain't, I ain't making no promises, promises, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna try not to put it in the wall turn one lap one this time. There are three. Okay, is the stream doing that apparently? That's good to know as well. Since he's not gonna do it, so I appreciate that. P12. Just my desk. That 87 race at Watkins Glen was so hard on the wheel and it was so intense. I was like yanking my desk across the room. <laughs> it's crazy. In the outside column. Can't wait to watch uh, Nick and Gavin's views of that race. So when you're at a road course and you you got people spread out so much, it's like entire different races, whole different experiences people are having. So. I'll save fuel just because I can. Apparently that's what that guy's doing too, because he's leaving a whole football field in between him and the truck in front of him. We do go green this lap. Be great if we actually were up there. All right, second gear start, definitely. About blew my engine, checking if it was a first gear start. <laughs> we are so spread apart. Can we close it up, please? Hey, Chappelle, it's you and me back here, man. I have no idea why we are so far apart. You and me back here. I'm in no hurry. Me neither. Alright. Well, that was kind of weird. This is my first one for the week, so let's see what happens. You're good luck, buddy. Watch out for guys getting loose. Yeah, you too. Far so good, other than the three wide directly in front of me. Just backing off early. Go low. Something happening around us. Not gonna pass this guy. Like I said, we are gonna be trying to be good on. Tires. Gonna be uh, gradual with the throttle. Try not to push it too much. And if I'm feeling that turn on throttle, then I feel like I'm doing an okay job. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. This guy's gonna hang on my outside. That's just fine with me. I feel like I'm saving tires just fine down here, so if he wants to use his up on outside lanes, he can be my guest. Still 
your line. Still there. Clear. Take the car outside. Outside is clear. Hopefully we do a good, a good job saving tires. That's going to be where a lot of my speed comes from if I'm going to have any. So I'm going to be hoping for it. Twenty-three hits the apron. It looks like. Oh. So far, so good. We are in eleventh. Temperatures are looking kind of hot, but not too bad. The oil temp specifically up there at 268. I think it's like when it starts like getting into the 270s, it starts getting a little worrisome. I think Inside. this guy's gonna set up a pass. That's fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I really want the bottom. That's where I'm gonna save tires best. Get near the apron, that wasn't great. Kinda underdrove it, because I wasn't sure where he was on my outside. Inside. That guy's just gonna dive in on me. That's the guy that has the B2.5, so I'm gonna watch out for him. He just outside. kills his exit doing like a slide job. I don't want to be alongside him, but I don't want to wait for him either. So I'm just going to hope that these guys burn their tires off. Take a gradual approach to this race. see guys catching me a lot on entry like that. I feel like that's them scrubbing off the right front. That's what I'm going to try to avoid doing. But maybe I'll just end up heading to the back and never get it back. These guys go by if they want. Getting the angles all wrong. It's kind of hard to tell where I am, where I'm positioned on track. There's everybody around me so close. I have found a good spot here where we're not getting past. I'm going to turn the wheel as little as possible. And what I want to see is guys to start coming back to me. Here's hoping. They're looking pretty racy. Yeah, pretty racy indeed. A couple of names that I was worried about getting into each other. That's usually how it goes. If there's going to be a wreck, it's going to be between two of the guys we were concerned about. <laughs> 
They look like they are separating though, so hopefully that means no caution. Really like this to go green as long as possible. So we are coming up to 13 laps into this one. Looks like the seven's ready to come past us. They look like they're pushing a little bit harder. Just gonna hope they don't run me over on entry. They're gonna stick their nose where it doesn't belong. Yeah, that was fine. Consider setting up a pass, sir. <laughs> Maybe go a little higher one corner. Get the run off. It's a good way to do it. He might need to even not even need to do the uh, higher in one corner. He's got so much more speed mid corner right now. So I think he's pushing a little harder. So I think we got through three and four better that time. You've just done it, thirty-four Making me nervous. I have to trust that he's not gonna run me over. Saving tires. It's up to him not to get into the back of me. Outside. All right. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. Just gonna gas it up hard mid corner. Try to get on my outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Up time was thirty-four point clear up top. Here he goes. The gap to Vieira in front is now 0.6. Truck still feels great. Looks like some guys are getting loose on exit. The guy ahead got loose there. Looks like he's pushing harder. They look like they might try to rack up there, though. I hope that doesn't ruin my uh, long-run strategy. Because all that <laughs> that'll do is mean that I lost all these spots while trying to be patient and uh, never get them back because we're just going to be on equal tires again, so I lose all the benefit of it. <laughs> so I'm kind of trusting that it'll go green. Uh, like I said, the last race I did, it was pretty much green the whole way. Got green flag pit stops. You guys run in the top. So my experience in the last race was that, you know, in terms of the way the truck evolved, so first it started off getting tighter, and then I started having to put more wheel in it, and then once I started having to put more wheel in it to get it turned, it was getting snappy on exit, so really having to counter steer on the exit of corners. So. That's what I'm going to be watching out for as the uh, race goes on. I would hope to start seeing some 
moving forward. Probably around lap 25 to start seeing it there, and then I feel like I'm on track. Can get kind of nerve wracking when you see guys just getting smaller in the distance. Uh, I just have to trust that our tires are going to be better at the end of this run. Especially with those guys battling each other. You can see while the uh, temperatures of my track were a little higher early, they're now all the way down, the oil temps down to 260. So that is perfectly fine. Don't need that anymore. So that was even in traffic. So honestly, I could probably even get away with doing more, but that's okay. 68% works just fine. Looks like we might be catching up to the 25. Nice to have his draft. Get us a little bit extra speed on the straightaways. That was a thirty four point nine. That feels great. Approaching lap 25, that's when I was hoping I would start catching up to some guys, and it's looking like that might be the case. Like I said, it looks like we're reeling in the 25. And I've yet to push it at all. I've been hitting just consistent laps. He's getting tight on exit. That's what I'd like to see. Had a bad corner there, though. Just, uh, went too far down low. Hopefully we get around this 25 no problem. Gonna fight it. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want But he doesn't have much fight left, so pushed it a tiny bit three and four there, just to get around him. But he's still a whole lot left in the tank. Now we're going to start moving forward, I hope. Looks like we're catching up to the 22, maybe. Great race so far. All green. Getting a little bit loose on exit up there. Oh, he's way up the track. I end up way up the track. I think I pushed too hard on exit watching him. Got on the throttle a little bit too early. Oh, that thing's a handful for him. Looks like he's doing a road course on the exits of corners. OK, 
catching up to him real quick. As long as I can keep consistent. Might be about time to start pushing the tires. You're about 30 laps in. Push, we're fine. Inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear in deep. Let's see, we've saved much better. He gets loose there. Run the high line, see how that goes for corner. I went too hard. Oh god, I'm an idiot. What a freaking moron. Jesus. I just overdrove it. Not getting re not ready for. Oh, there's no excuse for that other than I'm terrible. Jesus, that was stupid. I gotta get past these guys again. It was just hard to see my entry because of the guys around me, and then having not done that line at all yet, just wasn't prepared, so that sucks. Attempt number two, the high line. I'm gonna cut down. Outside. Get a run on him. Keep low. Keep low. Still there, hold your line. Okay, he's way up there. Clear. He got loose and into the wall. That lap time was 35.2. Behind us now. Okay. Okay, that guy got loose. That was interesting. That's not turning as well as I would like up here. Wow. What a freaking idiot. Blocking me. Car outside. Still there. It's for blocking me. Twenty three putting. Keep low. Bye, loser. Guy can't finish better than 13th, so he has to protect it with his life. But I think we're just gonna come in about lap 40. Use up these tires while we have them. Didn't swing around as good as I might have hoped. We never gained as much as I would have liked.
You got people pitting. They'll gain some time, but then, you know, we're, we'll probably get some back on them later in the race. I'm not too concerned. Optimal pitting is going to be lap 40. What's the high line going to do for me? It's just so tight up here. It feels like no one's been running it, so there's like no tire rubber gone or something. It's pretty equal though by the time you get to the end of the straight. I feel like I have a lot left in these tires, so I'm gonna go one more lap Take maybe. Me, I'm Really use up the tires here. Drive hard. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Okay, Colton, we're halfway through. We think about 10 laps remaining on this tank. Might have underdriven it. Driven it. Just a bit. We have a lot of tire, but not a lot of uh, track position, so. Alright, get into the pits. Okay, we'll Felt like a pretty good entry. Pit stops are so important. People underestimate. Wow, 15.7 just from dragging the wall? Interesting. 65, 76. People underestimate how much time can be gained or lost. Okay, go. On pit road. You think about how massive a gap, like a two seconds is on the track. You think about how easy it is to lose two seconds on pit road. It's not to be taken lightly. So that's why I really try hard to do well with pit road speeds. That means entering. That means getting in the box well. And that means... Car outside. On the exit. Outside. Outside. Clear Let's outside. get the and gonna block in front of a <laughs> guy coming out of the pits. Nose gonna have fresh tires. Okay. Not thinking Engine about anybody else. Okay, so, stint number two. TJ, let's see what we can do. Despite uh, going just a little bit past halfway, we actually have uh, come in before a handful of guys still. So we should be able to gain on them, which is good. Hoping we get on the lead lap again soon. Heard my uh, crew chief complain about the temperature, so I'll take a look at that again. Crew chief's always a little extra sensitive. With that, as usual, so not concerned, but it'd be good to have up. Inside. Okay, clear inside. I think we're going to gain some spots after this is all said and done. Oil of 
water temperatures are high. You need to back off a little. Car outside. I kind of ran lane 1.5, 1. 1. but that's all right. We found it our, our way around. B16. Going a little bit harder this time, just because I felt like I under drove the first run. Still tire saving, to be clear. But using a little bit more throttle while on the scene. Yellow. Yellow. Hopefully, gonna do okay. V14. Outside. Send it off too hard at the beginning. Feels good though. This has been a fun race. I don't know if I'm going to finish very well, but it's been a fun race. It's pretty fun to drive around here. Much better than the Xfinity car. I don't know what's up with that right now, but that was not fun. Here you know, the car actually feels like something going around the corners. Like you get on the seam, you can feel it kind of getting a little bit looser and hitting in. Hitting in. That's the guy directly ahead of me, so I got to be careful. He's gonna drift it into the pits, it looks like. Delete, delete, delete. That was a weird one. That's good consistency, keep it up. Keep high. He's outside. This guy ahead. Clear. I know he's got much better tires, so I just took the high line. Even that one turn, I can feel it get, having gotten tighter. Just doing one corner on the high side. The one's going to be really fast. Clear. He should get by us again real easy. Hey, 14, I'll keep it higher. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. You're in the top 10. Eight. Your last lap time was at 33.8. The next car's the leader. In the lane. Outside. Still there. The lead is fitting now. Clear up top. That guy is still coming in for the first time just now. It's good news for us. We're going to get passed a lot by these guys coming in late. But some of them might not be able to reach us by the time this race is over. You're in the top Sixth ten. Place. You've just done a 34.2. Like they're almost three wide up there. I'm gonna leave the lane for this guy. Inside. Clear inside. Just back off early and then let's do a late I don't know what you would call that kind of corner, but just do whatever that was. We in ninth. But with lots of spots to lose still. Still feels pretty good, trap rather. It's definitely feeling tighter than it did last run, but uh, I clearly needed to push a little bit harder. This guy's gonna get me here. 
I'll give you bottom 17. Car inside. Clear inside. Let's give him extra warning. He's the he's one of the guys with the B license that I'm a little bit nervous about. He's probably just fine, but you know, yeah, I don't want any uncertainty, just in case. Three coming up fast. It's not quite close enough to me though. I need to let him go. I was worried I was gonna end up on his inside, I did not want to. Still there, hold your line. Just keep hitting your mark. Clear inside. He's gonna get stuck behind the 23. 23's not very interested in giving him a lane. Get around him here. Don't cross me over. Oh my god. <sighs> really is interested in making us both slower. He's also not on actually on the bottom of the track. Clear inside. Thank you for making me have to do that corner a little higher. Hurt my tires. You have to enter a little harder, hurt your tires. You gain nothing from it because you didn't get the spot back because you never were because tires were better than yours. There's just there's no logical reason to do that unless it's like lap 80 Don't drive back. and you want to try to force him to make. The lap time was 34.5. Mistake. Car outside. Still there. Thank you. Keep low. You're in the middle. Three wide. These idiots. Clear, two wide, clear. Let's take it four wide for ten. That's cool. Still there, hold your line. Still there. God forbid you wait one corner. He gets some bad racing in truck races sometimes. It worked out, but uh, maybe I'm just too whiny today. Got a little bit left over from that Xfinity race. He ain't really tight on exit. We're gonna get a major run on him. What, low here? Outside. Yeah. Low. He's gonna fight it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we get around. Alright. We are... where are we now? Ninth? Ninth. Going in the pit, I did a triple axle. Oh, that's always fun. I really struggle with these pits here. Car in front of us is MK. So we definitely gained a lot of spots through the pit cycle. It looks like right now. Now there's probably going to be more guys flying up on us. That was a 
But right now I'm feeling pretty good about where uh, our strategy took us. Truck still feels pretty good, so I guess I could have been pushing us hard from the start. Probably. That's okay, only one way to learn. Like I said, this is the... I'm pretty sure the last race I did here was the first time I ever done this specific combo. And uh, I felt like I overdrove that race, so I tried to adjust this race. Went a little bit too far, and uh, I think I'm kind of getting it. So, hey, as long as I'm learning something. And I need to remember, this is a pretty good field, too. And I've got the, uh, the old independent team family set up. <laughs> so, always got to keep that stuff in mind. We're playing at them. Uh, top, top, top. Give me the top. Give me the top. Car inside. Still there. Inside. Last lap time was at the clear. Contact. Appreciate it, buddy. No, no problem. Lost some time there. I tried to do like a cut down type thing, but it really did not work. Missed the seam there, never got any turn from it. Seven's coming up on fresher tires. Six lap fresh retires for 14 behind. Hmm, got inside. real tight. That stunk. Still there, inside. So starting to feel the effects of driving a little bit harder this time. I think we're probably a little better than the 15, though. I think we can probably hold him off. I think the 23 is that guy we passed earlier, so we might be okay now. We might have lost all the spots we're going to lose. 12th place. That would be just fine. Pretty fun race. You've just done a 34.9. I was like 17th before the pit cycle, so that I think the strategy here really worked out well. Still, I'm not seeing anyone else approaching us from behind on much better tires yet. I don't know if I will. So you can see that lap truck back there is over five seconds back and even someone on better tires they're gonna have to go uh, pretty fast to catch me with only 10 to go ah there's someone my good friend who likes to block for 12th or whatever it was 12th while also people were pitting, so it was actually farther back. I'd like to be him, if possible. He's gonna have to catch up about 5 seconds, but he is on 11 lap newer tires. He went in really late. So it might end up close. Now I really gotta get on it, because I do want to finish ahead of him.
So let's see here. When I get to the line, he is at 4.7. We'll see what that's looking like at the end of the lap. See if we're on a good pace. Truck's kind of coming back. It's getting a little bit more rotation after it had that tight sequence. So that's good news. So it was 4.7, he's at 4.2 now, so he's gaining about half a second every lap. Seven laps to go, he should be about 0.6 short, if I did my math right. If we keep the same pace. That's a big if, but as an estimate, it seems like, again, if I did my math right, we should be able to hold him off. But I can't make any mistakes either. And he's got to get past two people as well. He might not just give it to him. So I'm feeling pretty good. I hope it works out. <laughs> not going to be catching anyone up ahead. That's for sure. tight. Oh, and someone's getting loose. I might have just uh, lost some spots. Or lost a spot by the end of this race because of that move. That was a junk corner. Just didn't turn. Not going to catch the guy even though he made that mistake. He was pulling away from us, I believe. I think the 10 made a mistake, maybe. I think he might have gotten into the wall. Hey, maybe they'll fight hard <laughs> or something. I don't really want any wrecks, though. Because I don't know if... I don't think this truck's very good on short run. Good consistency. And I, I feel like if we get one caution, even though this race has been clean so far, if you get, like, a green-white checkered, it's just going to be... Awful. <laughs> it's not going to be good, I, I don't think, so. The gap behind is now don't want that. Ugh, this thing's not turning on exit anymore right there. I just keep thinking it's going to rotate a little better, and it just never does. So we're going to hold off the 16 and uh, the other two guys behind us. We're going to hold them off just fine, looks like. These guys ahead are battling. Oh gosh, how about wrecking? We upset if they wreck each other for 10th <laughs> with one lap to go. Or two to go, rather. Can't bring out a caution with one to go. If they want to do it on the white flag lap, they can. Give me some spots. That's cool. Don't want to do that. But. 16's not even going to pass the two guys behind us. He must have pushed hard out of the pits trying to uh, gain up time. Those guys are going at it ahead. At 14, I've raced him before. He never gives up any spot ever. He will fight like his life depends on it for every spot, so it's not surprising me that he's getting all over the place. In the wall. That was awesome battle, Jack. I gave you everything I had. Wait, I, I can't do that with many people. I was on a third green thing. Sorry, I didn't let you all for it. Good race. All right, P12, I'll take it. Good race, good win. That was some high luck. Richie's less than pleased, but I'm happy. 
P12 in a very strong field with the uh, setup I found in the dumpster behind an IHOP. I would take it. Gained a, gained a good bit of time, I think. Pushing harder that second run and from, uh, well, I forgot that bump was there. Um, and from uh, just having a good pit side. So, final run, 65.81. So, a little less good on the tires, but I think it was a better run overall. So, finished where we started. All right, just, I think I was just 12th quickest. I think that's pretty much just how it goes. So... Almost all zero X's through the field, except for a couple of four and a two. We'll lose 18 I rating from this, but gain a lot of fun and experience, because I feel like I understand this and I'm a little bit better at it after we're done here. So that's worth more than any of these fake numbers. And we will see what trouble ensued out here. Three wide lap one, that'll cause some trouble. Maybe. Didn't actually see anything here. Still three wide lap one. That was me following it. <laughs> you can see me back there. I don't know why we're seeing it, though. Even the incidents thought there was going to be a crash there because it was three wide. Just assumed it was going to happen. Ooh, really close to the wall. He doesn't touch it, though. Not for real. Nice goldfish truck. Don't think we're going to see anything here. This guy's going to get the wall. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Just barely. Guy gets in the wall, and then... That was... Oh yeah, there's me getting in the wall. That's embarrassing. That was just dumb. It just didn't grip as much as I thought it would. I thought because I had been so good to my tires, it was going to grip much better than that, but it didn't. It's just I was running the low line the whole time, and then, you know, I just made an assumption I would get more grip than I did, and that's why I ended up at the wall. Which is annoying, but... Didn't really hurt too much. Yeah, you can see I hit the bombs at just the wrong time, too. It was just everything went wrong. There's like a set of bombs right around here. See, I hit them, and then there was just no chance I wasn't hitting the wall at that point. So that's embarrassing, but oh well. Mm -hmm. Moving right along. Ooh, that guy... Almost got loose. Looked like he was heading for me for a second. Kind of scary. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> he annoyed me, though. Nothing angers me more than a stupid block. So I, just, I just gave him a tap on the straightaway. He was too far off the wall anyway. He needs to get up there. Get out of my way. He's getting loose because he wants to try so hard. I didn't do it on purpose anyway. It was just we uh, both came together. See, he was kind of moving to the left. I was kind of moving to the right. Total accident. <clears throat> Total accident. So. Continuing along. Nothing going on there. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a missed pit. It's deceptively tough here. It's a, it's a bit of a sharper turn than you might expect to get into the pits. I mean, you know, there is that access road there that they put there for a reason. But you don't have to use it here on iRacing. In fact, don't, because it'll be incredibly slow. <laughs> But, uh, you know, when designing the track, I, I, I assume they put it there for a reason, but it's really, it's not that bad. But it can cause, cause you to miss it, like that one guy did. Oh, 
wall. Gonna skip past some of these wall hits. Is he gonna block again as the eleven's getting a run? No, that was reserved just for me, I think. And they're fighting hard over here. Ooh, that guy gets in the wall. That could have been a wreck. Guy getting up behind him. Some guys are really struggling on tires. Lap 46. I assume they haven't come in to the pits yet. Ooh, that's a penalty. Didn't even look like they were coming in too hard. Oh, they... they Started slowing down much later than I usually do. Just did not work out. A bit apron there. Um, I don't know why. Oh, we're seeing uh, his pit entry. Yeah, he waited till lap 52. That's quite a while. That's 12 laps past the uh, halfway point. I guess he was maybe looking for a caution or something. Never came, though. It was a good race. But wall well, straight away. This, I assume, is the battle for the lead. Ooh. One just, uh... Alright, the four doesn't turn in very... Uh, he turns in quite late, but that was really nothing. Just close racing. I don't think they would be upset with each other. They're having a great race up here. Force like demanding to have that crease there because that's what you need to get the truck rotated. They're gonna have to go like several laps side by side, seems like. That must have been a fun one. Three is not turning on exit. Ooh, that's rough. And they get stuck in the wall on the wall for a while. That's hurting them. It's gonna hurt their finish, it looks like. Most likely. One doing a slide job. Ooh. Man, they're racing hard. I don't know if it was a slide job or, you know, he just took the low line and cut off the four's run. Barn up and to the wall. Somehow keeps it off. Keeps it from really getting up into the wall there. We have major blocking. They're racing for the million dollar bonus here today or something. Not much going on there. Not much going to go on there. Some wall hit going to go on there. Told you so. And then these guys were fighting real hard. I imagine he's gonna, he was planning to send it really hard right here. He straight up goes for the takeout, but he doesn't get there. Yeah, that's what I expect from that guy. He, he does that stuff. He was going to try to do a bump and run on a mile and a half. But thankfully for the guy, ahead, he did not reach him. And we'll finish behind him. P12. So like I said, I'll take it. I know I lose high rating. But uh, I feel like I got better the second run. You know, maybe I could have finished a little bit better had I gone a little harder the first run. Kind of found that nice balance. But uh, who knows for sure. Either way, I'll take it. Just decent finish. Decent race. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.